carbon nanotubes, without a doubt, are making significant contributions towards assisting us to meet prevailing and future energy demands. The truth is, they are good energy storage. And in today's video, we tell you how carbon nanotubes are changing renewable energy. Long before the 2000s, a Japanese physicist by the name Sumio Ijima discovered carbon nanotubes while performing a momentous experiment in 1991. Thereon, scientists began to research new ways for carbon nanotubes to be used in everyday life, with applications in electronics, automobiles, medical devices, and a variety of other fields. After being studied by many researchers all over the world, carbon nanotubes appeared winning in renewable energy as a result of their capacity to create a carbon solar cell, among others, and behave as a catalyst in fuel cells to avert the use of costly platinum and ultra-capacitors. Besides, what are carbon nanotubes? And how are carbon nanotubes changing renewable energy? To find out, continue watching today's video. Carbon nanotubes are lightweight hollow cylinders made by rolling single or multiple layers of graphene sheets into seamless cylinders. It is similar to a sheet of graphite rolled into a cylinder, with the sheet made up of distinctive hexagonal latticework, like diamond and graphene. Carbon nanotubes are allotropes of carbon that are shaped like cylinders. But these hollow structures are significant because of their one-of-a-kind and potent properties. They have extremely high thermal conductivity, allowing them to efficiently conduct heat. Also, they have exceptional mechanical, electrical, and structural properties, which make them the strongest materials ever discovered in terms of tensile strength. Furthermore, researchers are working hard to find novel ways to use carbon nanotubes for storage and improve the utilization of existing products, as well as designing and developing peculiar innovations that can be used to meet energy demands. Renewable energies are increasing rapidly, but not rapidly enough to satisfy global demands, stemming in an intense upswing in the use of coal, which risks pushing carbon dioxide emissions to record highs. If you've been thinking, here's how carbon nanotubes are changing renewable energy. Carbon nanotube solar cells. Interestingly, carbon nanotubes have unique properties, such as being lighter in weight, more flexible, and less expensive than current solar cell materials, as well as the aptitude to deliver high performance. The interesting fact here is a photoactive solar cell composed entirely of carbon has been built. This was possible because carbon nanotubes have exceptional electrical conductivity and light absorption properties, particularly in the near-infrared region. Thus, they are used to construct a thin-film solar cell in which one atom-thick graphene sheets and single-walled carbon nanotubes are 10,000 times narrower than a human hair replace the expensive and scarce conventional electrodes made of indium, tin oxide, and silver. How incredible! We're far from carbon nanotubes bio-batteries, but trust us, its use in the medical field is much more feasible than solar cells. To uncover more about bio-batteries and their significance, continue watching. Learn more about your favorite technology, plus discover more inventions and technology, news right on NerdBull, the ultimate tech channel. For more exclusive content, subscribe to our channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of our new uploads. Moving on, carbon nanotubes are changing renewable energy, especially through electro-electrical capacitors. These capacitors are energy storage devices used in electric vehicles, uninterruptible power supplies, renewable energy, and mobile devices. Carbon nanotubes have been found to be effective in electrochemical capacitors due to their chemical stability, conductivity, large surface area, and provision of a strongly entangled network that allows for the deposition of metal oxides, such as manganese oxide, which improves their performance. If you think electro-electrical capacitors are good towards changing renewable energy, give us a thumbs up. Another means is using carbon nanotubes as photoswitching energy storage units. Similarly called azobenzene, photoswitching molecules are attached to carbon nanotube substrates. These molecules can absorb solar energy store it indefinitely, and then release it on demand. This means carbon nanotubes could support the storage and utilization of solar energy even after the sun has set. Watch our next video on Carbon Nanotubes Review.
everything about carbon nanotubes to know all there is about carbon nanotubes. Lastly, carbon nanotubes are changing renewable energy through biobatteries. Carbon nanotube biobatteries are simply the development of implantable biomedical devices, such as cardiac pacemakers, bone growth generators, drug delivery systems, cardiac defibrillators, cochlear implants, and cardiac resynchronization therapy devices, which require an efficient, long-lasting power supply source for their maintenance within the body. This has increased the demand for safe, efficient biofuel cells. Because of their chemical nature and size, common batteries are unsuitable for use inside the human body. Biofuel cells house themselves within the body and use only inserted electrodes. One of the most recent biocathodes is made up of an enzyme surrounded by carbon nanotubes that are enclosed in a porous silicate matrix that is deposited on an oxygen permeable membrane. Carbon nanotubes facilitate electron transport from the semipermeable membrane surface. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Kindly stick around to watch our next video on Top 7 Robotics Engineering Project Ideas in 2022. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.